like, no, we're gonna have an episode, like a couple of episodes specifically made to build up the refight with Sabrina, and then it's just like, no, we're just gonna have Pikachu fight, and then, and then Haunter's just gonna do a thing, and then that'll be it. Like, it could have been so much cooler. It I was not interested in actually doing anything with the gym battles. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It could, it could have been, like, I don't know. They could have done something with it. It's. I think. I think the problem I have with it is that they, they just spent like a whole arc building up to the rematch, and then it's just, just not like. It doesn't even. It's not even like a full fight. Ugh. I don't know. Story is, is kind of whatever they felt like they just kind of tossed that in there at the last second. Yeah. Would you say that's the worst? Like for can, uh, in terms of Kanto gyms, would you say, uh, that's the worst, uh, um, way that Ash gets a badge? Your badge. Uh, boulder badge, I guess, because Rock just kind of gave it to him. I suppose, yeah, fair, fair enough. Only true pity badge he ever got. Yeah. Everything I mean, else he had to have work for, or battles just got interrupted. I mean, Brock's battle was interrupted too, but... True. Yeah. I suppose... I suppose, like, Cadaver was, like, in a position to not fight anymore, so I guess I can understand that, but still. There was a third party in this regard, so. Yeah. Cause I like the idea of, like, uh, Haunter uh, kind of bringing back Sabrina's, um, uh, like, happiness, I guess, or whatever. Like, that's fine. I don't mind the, uh, I, I don't mind them ending the arc on that. Um, this, like, should have, I don't know, be like, let Hunter actually fight for even just a few moments. Yeah. Then, I don't know, they decide to dip. Pikachu has to step in just to protect the Ash, and then Hunter shows up again to screw with them. Yeah, like, just Haunter fights for a, li a little bit, and it's just like, oh, screw this, um, screw this, I don't want to fight anymore, or something. Like, I don't know, but, like, let, let Kadabra and Haunter. Trade like trade a few blows, do some just <laughs> do something cool. I want to see ghost type moves or something. No, oh, well. Do they ever do anything with ghost Pokemon again? Uh, when it's convenient for them in Orange Islands, I think Ash, Misty, and Tracy go to a sunken ship, and they oh. find a Haunter and a Cadabra. Oh, right, I think I remember that. I mean, that. a Haunter and a Ghastly. Hmm. It's, yeah. A, yeah, it's actually a pretty somber episode. I I honestly forgot Tracy was even a character in this. How, how long does he, like... How long does he stick around for? Is it just Orange Islands? I, I, is he, like... I remember him sticking around for a decent, a, a decent amount. The episodes. Okay. Okay, let's just... Hmm. You wanna watch the Mankey episode? Uh... I'm... I was fine with just doing the rematch... for today, because we, we did Star Wars as well, so... Okay. Uh, do, is there anything you, else you have to say about the rematch? Because I am actually recording our <laughs> opinions of this right now. The hell? <laughs> Bring me. This. 
it's in what's the word? It's emblematic of just kind of how wacky the show was early on. Yeah, I suppose. Dingoes. Yeah, pretty much. It's like they again, they just kind of actual gym battles that finish properly. Mm. It's like there's no, there there really aren't any rules. Pretty much, like they just kind of like tight matchups don't matter, and uh, the Ash doesn't necessarily have to win uh, a match. Like just something has to happen to cause a circumstance where he just gets given a badge. Um, which I guess is more dynamic than just just having it be a normal match every time, but. At the same time, uh, it gets a little bit disappointing um, sometimes. But I guess we'll just. I guess we'll just. It must have been an issue. I'm sorry, go on. No, I was just saying, like, it. it, it uh, what was I saying? Um, like, I, I don't know, like, um, it's. I, I guess we'll just see how they um, develop, like, how, how things go as we do more, as we see more of the gems. I have no problem with, like, you know, deviating from the source material if they think, if they have something superior. Mm. They interrupt gem battles frequently. In Kanto, and more, it's not always for good reasons. Yeah, they couldn't. It's like it feels like they, at least for Brock specific, yeah, Brock particularly, it seems like they were just kind of written into a corner, and they didn't know what to do because Ash's team was just not equipped to handle rock and ground types. Yeah, had to basically go travel, find a Bulbasaur, and then come back. Like I understand, they probably didn't want to spend five episodes in between. Yeah, for that. I I imagine they just want kind of wanted to get Brock on the main on the main party like as soon as they could. So I guess I can understand that, but yeah. if I mean it's hard like when you have to write for a, a show like this, you have to try and find the best way to that. Um, works well enough for the story and also find a way that doesn't make it drag out too much which oh it's gonna drag soon but mm. yeah i was gonna say like i'm probably it's probably they're probably gonna they, well they end up milking the crap out of this anime so yeah with the encanto itself they're they're speed running like the first six gems is gonna is gonna bite them hard down the line yeah, it's like, <laughs> also, um, the, um, Caterpie is the only Pokemon that's evolved in in Ash's team, and he's already, like, going on to, like, what, the fifth gym? Yes. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> the, 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 that is not the type of, like, Squirtle, like, the three starters, like, non-evolved, um, Ball name is Pokemon because he can't finish any battles. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. It's not fair. It's like, yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna go far in the league with like a non-evolved team like that. Not evolving, Bulbasaur won't evolve and has a stated dislike of evolving. So mm. down two basically. Yeah. I know. I know Charmander evolves, but I don't know when. It's more than a dozen episodes away. Mm. Just team really did suck early on. <sighs> God. Yeah, I forgot. Since Butterfree's gone now, he basically just keeps an open six slot for the duration of Kanto. Oh, so he never gets another six for Pokemon? It's on rotation, basically. Oh, okay. he's catching another Pokemon next episode, but Prime Impate lasts and long. 
Hmm. And aside from that, yeah, it's pretty much open slot for rotation. That's an interesting concept. Um, like, I don't mind the idea of uh, having like, like uh, having Ash switch out like the a po one of the Pokemon uh, every few episodes or how however long they stick around but hmm. it's not it really just, it really isn't much like actually mm. i don't even recall him like hmm i actually don't recall him actually yeah like after primate leaves he just really keeps the slot open and i don't know if he actually has six pokemon on hand at all for most of kanto like oh wow huh catching a muck after primate but i think he he just sends muck back to the lab because they stink <laughs> nice and uh, yeah pretty much any pokemon it's pretty much just a starters and pidgeotto for most of kanto okay i guess they just it was just like yeah uh, we know people like the starters so let's just have those uh pikachu and pidgeotto and then that'll be good but, and Pidgeotto's, like, barely used. Yeah, he's, like, yeah. barely, like, they, it's, like, he he was, like, a decent, uh, decently used near the start, and then they just kind of forgot about him. I don't know, it's weird. Did they ever do this, like, does Ash ever have, like, a, uh, non use six Pokemon slot in any other region? Unova, because it's a Kanto repeat, they mm. Ash does try to keep an actual, he does actually try to keep his six slot as a rotation slot, and mm -hmm. he does it to slightly better effect here than there than he did here, so. Okay. Well, at least they, uh, I like, I like the fact that they tried that concept again. And for Kalos, he spends most of the region with just five Pokemon. Mm. Like, I don't think he ever has a full team until, like, just a few episodes before the league. Okay. Kalos' team is weird. <laughs> and, of course, Sun and Moon, because he's not really battling that often. He just has a handful of Pokemon at any given point. Yeah. Oh man. They Ash catches Ash doesn't catch catch that many Pokemon anymore. It's just there's the quality over quantity guy. Yeah, pretty much. So he's gonna catch them all, but it's like uh he hasn't even really well, how many he's like he has he probably hasn't even caught like a hundred Pokemon. <laughs> He might have because of all the Tauros. He has like 30 Tauros. I suppose, but I. I mean, that's still the same Pokemon 30 times, so. I don't know how much that would count. I count once in the Pokedex, but. Hmm. He's definitely seen more Pokemon than pretty much anyone else on this planet. No, yeah, that's. Yeah, it's good to count for something. I remember seeing a theory that th this is probably complete bullcrap, but like, I remember seeing this theory one time where it's just like, um, whatever the Pokemon God's name is called, um, yes. uh, yeah, Ar Arceus, um, is, it, like, the idea of Arceus, like, constantly keeps creating new Pokemon, so Ash is, like, is basically internally happy, like, eternally happy, and, like, always has, like, the chance to find new Pokemon or something. It's probably, like, complete, complete garbage, but the idea of that, um is uh 
intriguing, I guess. <sighs> yeah, I don't I don't know uh how much weight well, Ash has met Arceus, so oh, okay. maybe that's true. Maybe. Who knows? I don't usually believe in furries, but it's it's fascinating. In the comma theory. Oh yeah, it's fascinating seeing what people come up with, though. What didn't wasn't like like Ash waking up uh, as like an old man, like an an original plan for the ending. Uh, not that I know of. Hmm. Just. that I know of, but that's, that's just melancholy enough for Shudo to try and suggest it. Yeah, because I know, well, I, I know they had, like, a lot of plans to, like, they had um, a lot of plans for the end, the original ending, because I, I, I think they, they um, were expecting the show to end after Kanto, or um, something like, I, 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 I do know for a fact that they didn't expect it to go on for this long, and they did have a, <laughs> they did have an ending planned, um, and it just didn't go through because we're all, we're still like, all these regions in now, and like, <laughs> to the point where, <laughs> uh, what is it? Um, what's her name? Serena? It's basically just replaced Misty as the, uh, I say this in massive quotation marks, lo love interest, because Misty is, like, barely even qualifies. It was supposed to be, but... Obviously, when the show had to be actually become a long runner, and... Yeah was willing to commit to, to any of that, so... Yeah. Because I, I, I've, I've heard the idea is that, like, Ash and Misty are supposed to like each other, but they're uh, too young to really understand that, or something like that. Which I guess makes sense, because they're both, like, what, like, 11 or 10? Just 10, Misty's, like, 12. Yeah. So, like, at that kind of age, you don't you probably don't understand those kinds of emotions. It is just it is as funny as it is sad that Pokemon ran long enough, has run long enough that you could actually go like fifth. You would have your designated love interest, quote unquote, and then dump them. Wait like ten years, and then introduce another love interest. Yeah. And then dump her and keep on going. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing with Ser Serena is that um, they, like, more so than any of the other companions, they, like, really hit that one home. And, like, they, 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 they like, wanted to make you know that she had a crush on Ash. So I feel like unless another character comes in that does that kind of she feel like that kind of stuff again. Um, 14 years. Probably. Like, I... I don't know. We'll see. Like... I mean, they they clearly... All they, care, all they really care about is, like, just kind of milking this stuff until it goes dry. So... There's n I I don't honestly expect there to be a definitive conclusion to this series. Probably in our lifetime, which is, I mean, kind of scary to think I'm, about. I think I'm in it for the long haul at this point. Yeah. I would like, I like endings, but I don't think Pokemon's going to get one. But I, I'd like to be proven wrong. Uh, but if that does happen, what will I do on Saturdays? True.
True. Very true. I mean, that's how I feel whenever I... Guess I, I sleep. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, to be fair, that's how I feel about uh, uh, Phil when I finish what finish watching any anime or show or whatever. But I just kind of, I just feel so empty inside. Like, it's like, it's just, it's over. And I like, ugh, it doesn't, it just makes you feel sad. I that when Cartoon Network took Pokemon off of, off of its broadcast. Ugh. I felt that when Pokemon just stopped airing Cartoon Network, so it was like a few months where it was just nothing premiering on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, awkward. Yeah. The only show I can... Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going into this for long, but um, the only the only show I can think of where... I was, I was like relieved that that it was over with Sword Art because it's just like there's so many. I mean, it's not the longest show ever, to be fair. But after it's all those, yeah, like after all those seasons and like the the movies or whatever, it's like oh, it's finally done. But it's still ongoing. I mean. For what it's worth, the new series is actually kind of alright. Save your thoughts for the in- inevitable podcast when we yeah. all have to gather. Yeah. For that, I don't. Oh, I, I I I do have. I do have. I do have some nice things to say about the series, but yeah, that'll have to wait. I regret saying this, but I think I'd rather do a sort of online podcast and do a podcast and discuss the Star Wars Star Wars sequel trilogy. I feel like, yeah, I'm actually with you on that. <laughs> At least we have, um, common ground with, uh, Sword Art. Star Wars is, like, completely all over the place. Alright, I'm gonna... Unless you have any last words, I'm gonna stop recording, because this, <laughs> this beca- turned into, like, a massive tangent. Like, it, just, it was just meant to be, like, a quick video about our thoughts in the on the... Sabrina rematch, they just turned into nonsense. I haven't seen the current series yet, but it's technically a world tour, so I know, bring back Serena for an episode. Yeah, I'd be down with that. Um, yeah. I don't... Good night, everybody. Good night. Don't know if we're... The, the, these videos are not ever going to be planned. So I don't know if we'll ever be doing another one of these, but if it happens, it happens. sprung this on me without my consent. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, it's just like, I, I knew, I knew we were, we were gonna have some words to say about the episode, so I was like, oh, I may as well just get the, get OBS ready for this, but yeah.